I do kind of feel like this was an oopsie daisy and was not supposed to come to me. Today's video is brought to you by Helix Sleep. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Ah, I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. All right, you guys. So today's video, I, it, this is like on a whim. I just got this box and I was like, this is so confusing to me that I have to make a video about it like right now. This might not be a super long video or you, you know, it could always end up that way because that's just how it happens most of the time. But I just felt like we had to open this glossy box because it's not supposed to be here. I'm so confused as to why this box was just sitting there on my front porch like on my little bench just waiting for me to get home. And you weren't invited? How'd you get here? Why are you here? And if you guys guys are confused by that, well I have a video for y'all where basically we held like a whole memorial service for Glossy Box. We did like a final farewell. We unboxed so many Glossy Boxes and then I unboxed my very last, my very final Glossy Box. Not because I personally canceled them or anything, but because the company themselves like stopped all shipments to the US. But guess where I am and guess where this box is. So I had to do just a little research. I was like, all right, maybe I missed an email. Maybe they reinstated the Glossy Box subscription to the US. But the very last email I have from them is on June 15th, 11.15 a.m. Important Glossy Box update. Dear Alexander Ryan, it is with a heavy heart that we must announce we will no longer be offering our Glossy Box subscription service in the U.S. effective July 1st, 2023. And that is the final email I have from Glossy Box. I have nothing from them after June, but like, here it sits. I also didn't get any email saying like, hey, your shipment has been shipped. <laughs> your order has been processed, anything like that. Because before when I was signed up for the subscription, I did get emails like, Alexandra, your order has been dispatched, things like that, but nothing since June 15th. And to be clear, I don't get PR from Glossy Box. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think I've ever gotten PR from Glossy Box. So like I pay for the subscription myself. So this wasn't like a box is sent to me, you know, for PR purposes or anything, at least not that I've become aware of. Please let me know if anybody else had glossy box subscription and then like you know it went away because that's what they said was gonna happen did, did it show up again this month Ooh. oh there's so many pieces of paper oh <laughs> I thought that was an ad for Philadelphia cream cheese. Does that not look like it's an ad for Philadelphia cream cheese? All right, there's no little scratch offs or anything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put those down there and we're gonna move on into the box. This is actually really pretty. The lady on the front is really cool looking. And then on the back, there's like a fun little like crystal mine. Looks kind of like something out of a video game, but it, it's cute. I guess this is gonna be like maybe a Halloween themed box because this is the October box. The theme is hidden places and this box actually has a little bit of weight to it. I'm kind of surprised because glossy box isn't known to put, you know, large quantities of items inside their boxes. The inside says, discover mystical beauty adventures. And then, uh, yeah, wow, we have a lot of branding, hidden places, little cards. Fruity, nutty, and a little bit chocolatey. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, there's Cadbury nut chocolate in here. This right here is honestly making me believe a little bit like that this box isn't intended to be here with me right now. Maybe this is like a little bit of a whoopsie daisy on their end because Cadbury is like, from what I hear anyway, Cadbury is like, the Hershey's of the UK. So for instance, when me and my husband went to Scotland for a honeymoon or like the other trip that I took when I went to London and then also Scotland again and then Ireland, we saw a ton of Cadbury stuff. I feel like that's a little bit of a hint. What actually is like the real hint that this potentially might not need to be in like the Kentucky United States right now um, is that on the back of this, it says, when a 200 pound voucher. So I feel like potentially at least this portion of the box, maybe it was not supposed to be sent to the States, but like honestly, the entire box is not supposed to be into the states so uk only don't recycle at home we're absolutely gonna try this though i'm probably more excited about this little pack of nuts and chocolate than i am for anything inside of a glossy box oh it smells nice oh hazelnuts it's got a nice little nut mix in there some little chocolate chunks and some hazelnuts almonds it looks really good oh, no, that's a hazel. oh man oh man <laughs> i have been tricked <laughs> These little chocolate chunks are indeed not chocolate chunks, they're raisins. That's kind of a cruel prank. Um, they don't taste bad though, they're lightly dusted with chocolate and the nuts just taste like nuts. Oh, there's where the Cadbury part comes in. <laughs> they have little chocolate buttons in here. Delicious. Chocolate and hazelnut is one of my favorite flavor combinations of all time. Okay, at first glance into the little box of products here, I'm thinking I'm, I'm barefaced right now, but I think I might also be barefaced by the end of this video. So let's just begin here. I think we have another little sample here. We have a Neutrogena Retinol Boost. Very little information about this. It says it's developed with dermatologists, which I guess that's good. That's probably better than dermatologists tested. It just says you're supposed to like rub it all over your face and neck. So that's about it. All right, next in here from Revolu. Oh, 
know. That's messing with my brain a little bit. What do you know? I never even considered that. Okay, so this is from Makeup Revolution. I don't know if you guys will be able to see the text there at the top, but it's like R love ocean. Never even occurred to me for a second there that the letters after the R and revolution spell love. Would never put that together. This is a power fix, fix mist. I gotta check my teeth for nuts. Hold on. While we're taking a nut checking break, here's a quick word from our sponsor, Helix. As you guys know, I absolutely love sleeping. I love napping. It's one of the things I enjoy most and Helix makes it even more enjoyable with their premium mattresses. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. I've had my Helix mattress for over two years now and it has improved my sleep so much. I've been partnering with Helix for quite some time, as you guys know, and it's so awesome to see your all's comments saying that you guys have tried Helix as well and you've been loving your mattress. One thing I really love about Helix mattresses is that unlike other brands, their mattresses contain no fiberglass, which can be harmful to your health. Helix owns its own manufacturing facility, which is entirely free from products containing fiberglass. Helix also knows that everyone is different and to ensure you get the best mattress for you, they made a sleep quiz to match your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress. I personally am a side sleeper who likes a super soft cloud-like mattress. And I also share my mattress so the sleep quiz match me with the Helix Sunset Lux, and I think it is the perfect choice. I'm just sleeping so comfortably on our Helix mattress. It's so soft, but also so supportive in all the right places. This year, Helix also launched their newest and most high-end collection yet, the Helix Elite Mattress. They put their years of extensive mattress expertise to use to create a truly elevated sleep experience. With your Helix Sleep Mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial and you will also get a 10 year warranty and their financing options and flexible payment plans. And the best part about all this is that Helix will deliver your mattress to your door for free within the US. It comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up by yourself. Can you guys hear that? As I'm unwrapping the plastic, it's starting to puff up with air. I really enjoy my Helix mattress and if you think you would too, be sure to check out Helix Sleep. You can click the link below or go to helixsleep.com to Alexandria to get 20% off your Helix mattress and two pillows. Plus, keep an eye on the Helix website this month. They have some secret flash sales that are going to be popping up throughout October, so this is a great time to upgrade your sleep. And just thank you very much to Helix for sponsoring this video and helping support the channel. It is a spray fixture. You get 1.69 fluid ounces of it. Let's go ahead and give it like a little spray test, see if it's a nice like fine mist, and uh, we'll get a little sniff test as well because I, I sniff test everything. still hate spraying stuff in my face though. I, I haven't gotten over that. That's been like a running thing since I started my channel. I just don't... Like, ooh, oh. I was gonna say I don't like spraying things in my face, but this smells kinda good. What is that? Kinda cucumbery? It doesn't say what the scent is. It doesn't give it a name or anything, but you can definitely tell there's like a really strong cucumber in there. It smells really good, honestly. It's light and fresh. And now when I say light, it is a pretty strong scent. It's not a light scent whatsoever, but maybe if it's spritzed, it won't be so strong. Okay, all right. That's not too much of a, like an aggressive spray. It comes out a little hot and heavy in the beginning. I really like that scent. I might not use it to like spray my face with it to set makeup, but I could just kind of, you know, for refreshing. Oh yeah, close eyes and hold 20 to 23 centimeters away from the face. I don't know what that means. I don't know how long that scent is actually gonna stay, you know, sprayed onto my sweatshirt when it's supposed to be like a setting spray, uh, but it is very refreshing. So I do like that. <laughs> All right, so since we're, you know, we're into spraying things right now, we have a cute little spray in here with some very pink stuff. Oh, okay. This is actually for your hair. This is from Be Fresh. It's hot hair goals. It's a heat protectant. It's also in the scent Paradise Punch. Like I smell this one too. Tater you okay? I think Tater just got sick. Hey, go and get some rest, okay? He sometimes doesn't feel so good. I don't know if it's like all of his medicines or, or what it is. The poor little guy, he just unfortunately has a whole lot of problems. Makes me so sad. Hopefully he's okay, but he just got a little nauseous. But back to this little pink spray stuff here. Um, It does smell good. It does. It is very pungent though. It's super pungent. I'm sure, again, if it was like misted finely onto your hair, it wouldn't be that strong. I don't really know what that smells like. It honestly smells a little bit like a house cleaner. But like a nice smelling house cleaner. One that's supposed to smell like, you know, tropical gardens or something like that. So this is a heat protectant shine mist with botanical extracts, amino acids. It's supposed to add moisture, shine, keep flyaways at bay, help fortify against hair, what? Oh, it helps fortify hair against frequent heat styling, which I do actually frequently heat style my hair because I have this little crimper thing that gives me volume. Without my crimper thing, I don't know where I would be squeaking out there. Oh, okay. This actually is kind of interesting to me. Um, as somebody who struggles with my hair, I talk about it all the time. I kind of get nervous about getting any hair products on my actual scalp. So like, I really don't use like dry shampoos anymore and anything I put on my hair, I just really try to keep it away from my scalp, whether it's heat protectant, hairspray, all of it. This actually says it has scalp loving ingredients in it. So that's really nice. I never really see hair products like this that aren't meant to like go on your scalp or aren't meant for hair growth. Saying that they're good for your scalp. So I'm actually quite intrigued by that and I'll definitely be using this. It's toasty in here. <laughs> we had fall for like a total of one day and now I'm back to sweating. Ooh, 
there's a secret little product down here. Oh, it's the cream cheese. So that little advertisement they had in there for what looks like Philadelphia cream cheese, they actually have a little tub of it. So, so this is the Nivea Soft Refreshingly Soft Moisturizing Cream for Body, Hands, and something else. Face. Oh, there's a little safety seal on it. That's real nice. It's definitely not a ton of product in here. I would definitely say this is like, you know, maybe a deluxe sample of a cream that I would say probably doesn't cost too much. It says it's the UK's number one body cream. I'm so happy that I have UK's number one body cream here in, in USA, Kentucky. Enter your chance to win a 200 pound voucher. They're, re they're really pushing those 200 pound vouchers. <laughs> I feel like this is just more evidence that this box is not where it belongs. All right, next up here we have vegan. I think I was thinking if I just close my eyes and squint in the back open, I wouldn't realize how dumb I am. Listen, okay, if you put something on a bottle like this and you space it in a way in which it reads V and Gan, that's exactly how I'm gonna pronounce it. I, I, there, if my brain didn't correlate, that is vegan. I'm a very visual person, V and Gan. Those were two separate things to me. Uh, but this is by Happy Skin. I'm assuming it's vegan. It has natural ingredients, it's cruelty free, and it's a vegan product. Yep. This is the Original Skin Essence Toner. It has chamomile, candula, and aloe vera juice in it. Ooh, bubbles. Ooh. It actually smells really nice. There is a nice light scent to it. Something a little bit like flowery, but not like too overpowering. I don't really know what chamomile is supposed to smell like, but uh, this smells lovely. Okay, interesting. I, I don't think I've ever seen this brand before. I guess the brand is what's in it for me. It's definitely a new one for me. This one says rosemary. <coughs> I'm joking. I think there's a little bit of a, like a robe nut like a hazelnut still hanging out in there. <laughs> Oh my goodness, where's my juice? I promise you guys, I do drink other liquids besides just jugs of Minute Maid sugar-free juice. I also drink like coffee, Monster and stuff. <laughs> this says it has rosemary leaf extract to rejuvenate plus rosemary oil, ooh, and aloe to soothe along with lemongrass oil to cleanse and rebalance the skin. This is supposed to be a body cleanser. The packaging of it's really interesting. It just looks a little bit different than your standard, like, you know, cleanser skincare packaging. At the bottom, it says totally selfish, indulgent, and love with your products. So I don't know, I'm gonna give it a sniff to see what all all those things smell like together. At first when I saw like rosemary, rosemary oil, I was like, oh, maybe this is also for your scalp because that's a very like kind of well-known like hair growth thing now, but it's for your body. So let's get her. It's a weird little chunk of something right there. What is that? It's, well, it's just, my gosh, this is like the hardest little safety seal. Ugh. It didn't even take the plastic off. It's still a safety seal. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, that's that's a pretty strong scent. That's a, that's a very strong scent. Don't do that. It's starting to not be so overwhelmingly strong now, but it is still a very strong scent. The lemongrass is really what's coming through. That's definitely like the top note that I'm getting. Uh, there is a little bit of like a earthy undertone to it. <laughs> I've been fun of that word for so many years. It's because of the barefoot and desert. I know it is. It smells really nice. And I like that they tell you right off the bat, like what it's supposed to do for you and stuff. It's not like a ton of it. I kind of wish for a product like this, you know, something that you'll use a good amount of in one go, that they would include maybe like, I don't know if this is a full size. I hope not. This is pretty small for a full size, but just like a full size of the cleanser would be really nice. I'm not sure if any of the items that we've received today have been full size. Maybe this is, I feel like that's a decent size toner. Perhaps this little setting spray, but stuff from Revolution is kind of on the inexpensive side. So even if this is like a full size item, probably isn't too terribly expensive. Alrighty, and we have one last item in here and I can just tell from the pale green that this is something from Pixie. Pixie by Petra. Who's Petra, I wonder? I know there's that one lady that's Kim Petras. I don't think they have anything to do with each other though. Oh my heavens, it's a brown tamer. What? Who would have thought? A brow gel? A clear brow gel in a subscription box? Revolutionary. Sorry guys, I have just been like swimming in brow gels recently. I've been getting so many of them in subscription boxes and like everything I do, there's a brow gel in it. I don't know if maybe it's because like that certain eyebrow look has really become a trend recently where they're kind of like fluffed up but also like matted down. They are sending so many of these because of the eyebrow trend. Soon enough here, we're just going to be getting tweezers upon tweezers inside of our subscription boxes because the thin like little 90s eyebrows they're coming back <laughs> they're coming back at least according to tiktok and I'm, I'm i'm quite scared about that i had like basically no eyebrows in high school i wasn't in high school in the 90s or anything but i still had basically no eyebrows and i didn't know anything to fill them in like they were just kind of light even though my hair is dark this is not my real hair color uh so well these are my real eyebrow hair colors but i feel like they were even lighter in high school i did nothing to fill them in and i plucked them like crazy so i basically had no brows and i don't think i can go back to having basically no brows my forehead is large my chin is 
is evident. So I feel like I just need the brows to balance it out. I don't know why I'm doing all this work trying to get it out of this box. It's just a clear brow gel, a little tiny thing, a clear brow gel. Alrighty, so that was everything that I got in my glossy box that I, I, I sh probably shouldn't have gotten. I feel like this definitely was supposed to be like for a UK based audience because of like all like the little vouchery things that they put in there and like the UK based chocolate, like all that kind of stuff. It made it feel like it, it wasn't supposed to be here. <laughs> and based off what glossy box themselves said that they were completely discontinuing like shipping glossy boxes to the United States, I do kind of feel like this was an oopsie daisy and was not supposed to come to me. Uh, but I have it. I, I don't, I assume I paid for it. I don't really know. As always, I feel like glossy box really didn't wow me too much. Everything in here was skincare with the exception of like this. But can you even count this as makeup? I don't know if you can. So we have a whole lot of sprays and creams and clear things and goos and brow gels and all sorts of stuff. And we also got some chocolate though. So that was real exciting. I like this part. I was gonna dump that whole thing in my mouth. Maybe I should wait till I'm done filming. So even though this was a surprise, it still wasn't super exciting. And uh, yeah, that's the, but just please let me know down below if any of you guys also received a glossy box this month or if they just had kind of like a mix up with the shipping facility and they shipped this to me and like they were not supposed to. I would love to hear what you guys have to say because I am very curious about that. But that is everything I have you all today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.